When I'm meeting with a family and I start talking about how technology can help support a child's communication, one of the biggest concerns parents have is that using technology like an iPad or visuals will prevent a child from learning how to talk naturally. There's a few things that I tell parents when they voice these concerns. The first is that there's no evidence that shows a child will stop talking when technology is introduced. In fact, we have research that shows the opposite. One study of school-aged children with autism who are minimally verbal showed an increase in spontaneous language when therapy included a speech-generating device. Another study showed that natural speech improved during therapy that supported both the use of AAC and natural speech simultaneously. So it doesn't have to be an either-or situation. We can use AAC and keep working on a child's ability to say words. So if a child says a word or a word approximation, it's a perfect opportunity to model that word on the device. We also know from the research that AAC can significantly decrease a child's frustration and challenging behaviors that can arise when a child's struggling to communicate. What I tell parents is that children will always choose the path of least resistance. If using a device to communicate is easier, then that's what children will do. The moment that natural speech becomes easier, then they'll make the switch. And sometimes it's vocabulary specific. Certain words are easier for kids to say verbally and certain words are easier to say on a device. Regardless of where a child is with verbal communication, it's really important that we not limit a child's vocabulary simply by the amount of words they're able to say through natural speech. When you introduce technology to a child who's struggling to say words, we often find that children have a lot more to say than we could have ever imagined. AAC should not be a last resort intervention. So starting AAC with kids early is a way to ensure their language learning continues to grow. That way they can learn how to put words into sentences and answer questions and have conversations while their natural speech sounds and words keep developing.